Hey what's up guys, Trickster Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to make a basic wallpaper or desktop background in Adobe Photoshop um, CS3. This works for CS4 and I'm not too sure about CS2 but you can still try it. But yeah in this case I'm going to be using Photoshop CS3 Extended. So whatever, just open up Photoshop. You want to create a new document by going into File, New and you can name your document if you want make the preset custom for width and height you want to put your screen resolution minus 1280 by 1024 and you want to make sure they're pixels and the resolution 4000 to get the highest quality and color mode RGB color 8 bit and the background content make it white and just click OK and then you should see your new document here it's just plain white and then you want to go to your paint bucket tool and if it doesn't show just hold your left click and select paint bucket tool you can choose choose the color black and just use the paint bucket tool on the new layer or the background and then you after you have done that you want to go to your text tool and you want to type something I'm going to type trickster and make sure your text is white and you can change the text color later but right now just leave it white and then you just want to center it by using your pointer tool it's just a little arrow with the um, just like arrows pointing up left right down and after you have centered it you want to go to your text layer right click and click duplicate du duplicate layer and just click OK and you want to go back to your original text layer not the copy but the original one and then you want to go to filter uh, stylize and wind and if this comes up just click OK and click OK and then you should see like a little cool blur comes out and for Windows, just hit Control F F. And for Mac, I think it's Command F. But yeah, I'm using Windows, so I'm just gonna hit Control F F. And then it should come out like this. And you wanna go to Image, uh, Rotate Canvas, 90%. And then you wanna go to Filter, Stylize, Wind. Click OK again. Click Control F F. Uh, then you want to go back to filter, stylize, wind, and this time where it says direction, you want to go from the left and click OK. And then you want to go Control F F. And then you want to go to image, rotate canvas, 90%. Then you want to go to uh, filter, stylize, wind. And you want to go um, in the direction, just go back to from the right and just click OK. Click Control F F. And that's it, you're done. And it's going to look a little bit like bad, but you'll see how cool it looks at the end. And then you want to go to Image, Rotate Canvas, 180 degrees. And it should just go, it should be centered again. Ugh stupid message keep coming up that I'm running out of this space because I'm on a laptop but whatever um yeah so next thing you want to do is go to uh, right click on your text layer and then you want to go to blending options and you want to click on gradient overlay and you should see like all the wind that you have put it's just going to turn red and to change the color, just click on creating o color overlay. Sorry, and where it shows red, just click it. Choose a color that you want. I'm gonna choose green and click OK. And OK, and you should see that it's a really cool green um, like effect. And right now, if you still want to change the text color, uh, right now, now is the time that you can change the text color. So go to your text tool, highlight. 
the text go wherever the color white is shown click it you can change it to you can change it to let's see I'm gonna just leave it at black for this tutorial and there you have it that's how you make a basic wallpaper um, for your computer on Photoshop CS3 Extended. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Please comment this video um, if you have any questions, tutorial requests, or positive feedback. Rate this video 5 stars if you liked it, and subscribe if you liked this video. I will be making more tutorials soon. So, yeah, just comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, have a good day.